Hey folks, in this video we are going to take a look at how to create a Zoom room that allows you to kind of have it always available, have people that you want to be able to enter it, and access uh, the share screen, like kind of put things at default. Um, and this is more specifically if you have a running meeting with a couple different people, you don't want to constantly like, oh, make sure you're sharing, uh, you know, they, they can share screen and things like that. It's really for when you have that set meeting time, what's the ideal settings for your group. So you want to go to zoom.us and log into your Zoom account. So we're going to do that. And then we're just going to pop right in, sign right in. Once you get into the Zoom, your account in Zoom, uh, you're going to find you will have uh, your, up, your, your various meetings, um, all of your usual stuff here. And what I'm going to show is down here for me, I have a bunch of these recurring meetings. And this is what we're going to set up. We're going to set up a recurring meeting that has no set time, no set, play, uh, you know, no start, start time, no end time, all of that. And we're going to do that first by scheduling a meeting. And let's call, we're going to call this, I'm going to just call this, maybe this is, uh, you know, um, Lance's team meeting, right? You can call it whatever you want doesn't really matter. It's more point of reference for you. All right, so all of this information we're going to ignore. We're going to come right down here to recurring meeting. And where it says recurrence instead of daily, we're just going to put no fixed time. And so this allows that like it is just always there permanently until you delete the room. Now, right here, there's a few things you can do. You can opt to not have a waiting room. Right, so that's going to make it easier for uh, people to just come in when they come in, and especially if this is a group meeting, if this is a group, you know, folks that are uh, on Tuesdays at one o'clock, not having them to wait, just having people be able to pop in when they're ready, super valuable. Um, I would skip require authentication to join. You're going to have a passcode code. This is a link you're only sharing with the other folks. Um, and then when you come down here, uh, again, you can set certain things to be set up. I like to have, particularly if they're, they're group meetings, I will set the video to default to be on. Um, but I'll actually, I'll go into, come here under show options. Um, and I'll actually mute upon entry because I think that's helpful because while video we're usually prepared for audio there can be lots of different things going on um, I'll just make sure uh, allow participants to join at any time and uh, this really just kind of sets you up so folks can go in there as needed when they need to um, I will also typically if I know everybody else that's going to be in this or mostly everybody else I'm gonna give alternative hosts to all of them so I'm just gonna grab a few of my colleagues here I hope they don't mind their their names on the screen um, but I'm just gonna enter those different email or th those different email accounts that are part of our zoom account uh, our, our um, business account and allow them to be able to uh, enter in and have all of those abilities and notice right here uh, you know there's a little checkbox allow alternative hosts to add or edit polls I'm gonna leave that like the goal really is that we're in that meeting space there's as low a threshold as possible uh, there's less friction around everybody having to like oh give you this right you know give you oh do I have sharing capabilities can I enter the room uh, especially if the lead person is running late or you know they're having technical difficulties so super easy to do once I do that I'm gonna hit save and now it has now produced my meeting room and I can go ahead and copy the invitation or I can just what I will often do is I will take this link uh, this is the the invite link this is the the link to get into the zoom room and I will put that you know when I send out the invite for gathering um, I'll just put that in the location and if it's a regular repeating one then it's the same room every time nobody else has to worry about whether they can get in or not um, and it's good to go so uh, I hope that's helpful I hope it makes sense how you can do that and very easily just have that room always set up um, as you need so I hope this is helpful let me know if you have any questions thanks